Welcome viewers, this is David Padilla. You might know me as the organizer and the maker of all the Disney Night videos. And today I'm doing a video about my toy box collection I collected for the past three years. And I might want to do it quick before I start forgetting because the last interview I did with these things, I um, I was stage fright and autistic, meaning I'm unable to confess more speeches. And I hate it when I keep belching during videos because I don't feel good. Anyway, let's do it before I get interrupted because I hate losing an error. All right, on this spot is the Disney Parks or Disneyland. My first figure I found was Spider-Man based on the MCU one, not the Sam Raimi or Mark Webb one. But uh, but the good news is I will do some references for those that are not related or they are for each Marvel. He looks specifically like it even though he's already scratching up because he's since 2018 years old. Or three. But at least he's all in one piece. Even though this leg looks crooked. But the bad news is. I lost his web shooter. Because my cousins or. Friends from. My grandma's house misplaced it. Because they don't know how to be organized. Even though I lost a lot of weapons. And accessories too. When I think. Think for it. Then later. On the same day, I also got Buzz Lightyear at Paradise Pier. Oh, I forgot. I found him at Tower at the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. All right, and then for him, I I found Buzz Lightyear at at Toy Story Midway Mania. I was gonna get Woody too, but I was almost out of allowance, so I choose him and decide to get him for another day. And then later. I also found Hulk in the Guardians of the Galaxy ride just maybe in 2000 and let's think um, the end of 18 or let's say 19, whatever the meanings are. So, I'm gonna, so for that I'm going to put Marvel right there because I already got them. I also I chose Buzz because he I made him the leader of the Disney Lights. Nights. He's kind of my favorite and he's going to have a movie soon next year. And he doesn't come with that blaster. Just the wings that says by and large in there. And this pipe it comes with this Hulk. Then later I found Woody just before my past expired. Like say February I found him at. And he comes with this little boot from Toy Story 2. It doesn't pop out because they haven't manufactured it. That's why the last Woody they made, even though I didn't get it, had Forky. Then later I, I found Darth Vader, let's say either at, at um, I can't remember where I got this at, but because I wasn't a big fan of Vader because I was expecting Anakin to be there. But I only got this just in case Anakin Skywalker will show up and I'll have a chance to Get them, that way I'll make a new video where they fight each other. So anyway, I did found him at the World of Disney or at Disneyland now, I can't remember. But I almost believe. But previously, I lo he lost his lightsaber because of my cousins or some younger friends, visitors, if you like. Because they don't know how to play with it properly. So I got another Vader and then... Got rid of the original body. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I still kept this lightsaber and got rid of the body that came with it. But I was still pissed because my, my cousins are no genius. Then I found Kylo Ren at the World of Disney. It was hard to get this lightsaber in, so I used some wires and rubber band to, to. Attach it so it won't fall off. And also it's not removable like in the movies. But I still hate that guy. And I wish they could have made another the other way around. Let's proceed. And then I found Wreck-It Ralph at the World of Disney. 
be when this movie came out. So I got him, and then, well, I, I don't know what to say next, but let's just say I, I got him and I took him with me around this place. And then I found Bullseye and his LGM, or Alien, in the world of Disney. Actually, no, before them, I found the Spider Cycle. Not like the one from Spider-Man 2. But it did came with Spider-Ham. It looked, it almost looked like the same one from the Spider-Verse, except not, except the eyes don't match. And his feet are not kind of tooth-toesed. But at least there is one proof I got. It did came with the mallet, just like in the one where he fights Scorpion with it. No other reasons. And he did came with this other Spider-Man figure. I kind of ditched it because I want to keep the true Spider-Man. So, but I didn't throw it away. I just put it on the top of the trash can so someone would take it. Then later, I kept I kept Spider-Man because he's cute and perfect size for that. Then later I found Bullseye and his LGM and the in the world of Disney. At least for Buzz and Woody get to keep both of you their companions. Then later I found Boba Fett. It didn't came with blasters, only the slave one ship. Especially it has a button where this thing shoots out. Where it could possibly be the one where it makes sonic noises from from both versions. Um, Empire Attack of the Clones and, and the Mandalorian where they make wave noises. But it's cool. I only took Boba in case I get Captain Rex. Because I can't wait to make a clone reunion. And um, I got Boba even though I don't like collecting females but... I decided to use her as a hostage type of version. And unlike her original versions that came out before Toy Story 4, she looks stripped. Not that kind of stripped, but you know what I mean. She's mixing her her pink clothing. Well, that's all for Disney. Now let's start with, this, with the mall. Okay. Let's see. Um, how, where can I start? I found Mr. Incredible at at West Covina because I realized if I'm going to collect more Disney Knights or Heroes, I should collect more than meets the eye. And even though his face is, has been scratched, painted since my last episode where I accidentally did it, I could have been more careful. And he did came with Jack-Jack. This firing baby, and it, and there are more of them. Even though I didn't collect the rest of the Incredibles, because I need men instead of women and kids. I made him as the muscle, and I kind of like this guy because he's cool. Then later after that, let's see. Um, then later, while it was still two thousand and and um, eighteen. I found Baymax. He was kind of much of my favorite as the healthcare companion. I even seen his series for it too. His wings are removable, but he can't rocket fist. So I collected him as a reminder. And then let's also actually the only one error is his face doesn't look straight like it always does unless you want to do it like this. Or like this, where you almost can see the line. But unfortunately, they made an error mistake. Now, let's see. Before I lose my thoughts, touch, and see who else. Also, I found Hiro Hamada. His hat, his helmet is removable, and it comes with his his hair. Where it's, I can't take it off because I don't feel like doing so. But you guys get what I mean. At least I found them. And I thought for once they will come with the rest of the team. Because I was going to get them too. But unfortunately they're delayed for unknown 
reasons. But I guess that's just their way of doing. Now let's see. Then I found Master Yoda. Maybe like 2019 or 18. At the Disney Store West Covina. Oh wait, I forgot. I found Baymax at... at um, at Montebello Mall when after I failed to find it. Because I'm not much good of a scavenger hunter. Or a negotiator. But I did found him at, at Montebello. So let's move on. Anyway, I found Yoda at West Covina. I think. And I was successfully... And like... Well, like Ren, I also unable to get his lightsaber clicked on. So I used rubber band. Let's see, um, I have short-term memory loss here. I'm not good at rehearsals either. Then later after that, I, um, I found Stitch. He, he's almost twice as my favorite, but I like him better if he spends more time with this guy. Because they're already becoming compatible <coughs> rivals. Oh, wait. Never mind, let me just move this along. But anyway, after I, before the rocket, I found him separately. It came with a surfboard and his, and his plasma blaster. If I can just, oh, get it out. It's cool that he comes with his blaster because I kind of like the gun scene. And never used it again until the series, which caught my attention all of a sudden. Especially... Makes him feel like the Silver Surfer, even though he's blue. But, mm -hmm. but much better if he goes on those rocket than just his spacecraft. It makes him look like a pilot. At least he comes with his blaster. Anyway, I almost forgot that I found Frozone, and then it came with his with his sled, the one where it can shape shift. Um, I mean, absorb, it can transform into both skis mm -hmm. and sled. And at least Robert got his Lucius right here. Anyway, later after that, I, um, I found Sully last year. Well, actually, no, that was two years ago, in 2019. And it came with Boo. I was excited for him. I found them at West Covina Mall. Which is much easier. And he doesn't have much spots around here. but And Boo, she's cute. At least she had kept both of her eyes. Now let's see. Also I found Wolverine at West Covina. It comes with his katana. I don't understand how is it possible unless you've seen the movie Wolverine where he battles the Silver Samurai. Speaking of which, at least it came with his face. His real life face in case it's still based. And he comes with a hat for no reason unless he could have been based on a Freddy Krueger Nightmare on Elm Street reference. But I still make adjustments for myself. Then later I found Genie at at um at West Covina. And I was excited. I found him before I went to to my to my art class during a party. Or Pops or Rots, whatever you call it. I'm starting to feel like I don't remember what I'm gonna say. Although he lost I lost the lamp that goes with it because my like I said, my cousins messed with him too far. And I got this mark to prove it. Even though I don't know what, when, how long this mark was been. But anyway, after that, I was lucky that I found Aladdin. And it came with Abu, this little chip, capucci monkey, whatever species you are, prefer this lemur. And I thought for once he comes with a sword, and I guess I have no choice but to let him borrow it. Which I'm not going to do it yet. Or right now, because this isn't a, a binary standard. 
and then later after that, let's see, let's see, how do I begin this, this chit chat, oops, and let's see, and then later, I, I found R2 and 3PO at, at Montebello Mall, just before Star Wars came out. At least these two droids are perfect. It doesn't come with his taser or holographic thing, or actually that, or that binocular stethoscope where it goes underwater until you see his eye. Mm -hmm. And at least three people doesn't come with silver leg or red arm to replace body parts, but at least you get this point. Then later, I also found the Sith Trooper. He looks like a regular clone storm trooper at the same time, but only in red. But I wonder what it would look like if they were Jedi Troopers. It would be the same color, like I'm going to say blue or light green. I still understand why bad guys get all the armor while the good guys look, look like flesh. Because I like clone troopers better. I only got this in case it might happen one day. Well, let's move along. All right, let me think. Let's see. Also, I found Iron Man. And then, ooh, his blaster. Um, let me pause for a moment. Anyway, like I said, I found his blaster. It came with it. I found him, like, like just February before COVID-19 began last year. Even though I got him because I had second thoughts about Marvel. Despite my only interest is Disney. Then later, after that, I found Captain America and Winter Soldier. His ap Bucky's appearance makes him look like the new Goblin from Spider-Man um, 3. Except it doesn't come with a glider, but it did come with his mask, the straps, and his blade. And... It came with... Oops, sorry, Yoda. I almost broke those lights here because they're fragile. should put them right there. And it did came with his face. But I chose Winter Soldier because I like bad guys better than sidekicks. And Steve Rogers' face, I kept it. And there's Captain America in his, um, in his Winter Soldier outfit. I mean, as appeared in his second movie. And the shield is not red and traditional. And he came with this Avenger motorcycle. It glows. Just like the spider cycle. Then later, actually, after that I found Darth Maul. Like on January. Before COVID-19. Like, I was going to ask my aunt to get it. But I found it first. And decided to wait for the other to arrive. But the only error is that Maul looks shorter than I expected. He's not very tall enough like Vader just because he's older than him. And when I first got him, I thought I almost accidentally broke his lightsaber. It turns out that's just part of it because he chooses whether it's double or single. But I learned from it after I got R2 and 3PO. And Darth Maul looks like a devil to me when I first saw him. And I finally took his interest. Then later after that, let's see. Later I found those symbiotes, parasite looking things. Let's see. I found this venomized Hulk. He looks exactly like the one from, from, from Venom 2018, even though it's not Eddie Brock, it's just Hulk. Even though the show Maximum Venom came out along with this one. He almost looks like um, like Phage. I forgot the name of the green symbiote is. But he didn't have a mouth. It could be Phage. But like I said, he looks like 2018 Venom. Because he's got those veins with no logo on it. Especially the... Even though he's not sharp. And those three tentacles look like Hydra creatures from Hercules. Hail Hydra, that's what Bucky would say. 
Although he's kind of cool. At least he's got the tongue just like that. And he's got the toes. Just like how he's always traditionally feel like. Otherwise he would have looked like abomination. Oh, I almost forgot. Yoda comes with his his ghost or hologram self. Whatever you guys see to it. And then later I found... I found Symbiote Spider-Man. He's not the black suit one where he says, this feels good. Just the other one. He looks just like either the like Spider-Man 2007 with the black suit or Venom one where he's skinny and has these claws still, but he doesn't have the teeth because he would never look like a savage. But if you look carefully, his he does have claws. And he does have webs all over his body because in the comics they didn't have that only in movies and yet in the TV shows when they're incarnated. He looks like anti-Venom because he's white even though it's hard to introduce. Otherwise if he was anti-Venom that would make him the, the main protagonist. But I still made him a bad guy in these versions because he's still based on Spider Carnage where he doesn't take him seriously. Along with Hulk, so that makes him cloned by the Jackal, if he was there. And then later, I found Ghost Spider, a.k.a. Gwen Stacy or Spider-Gwen. The one from Spider-Man 3, the amazing Spider-Man franchise, where she falls off the building before being saved, and where she died, but now reincarnated into a ghost. Even though I don't like collecting girls, but like I said, I had to made a few mind changings of my own. So I picked her. And it came with her web shoot. And I was going to get Miles, but I ran out of choices and thoughts, even though I wish I could have sacrificed my thoughts. And she comes with this little white thing where it goes on her hood. And her real face kind of resembles the one from the Spider-Verse, because in the movie... Miles accidentally ripped her hair off, and she still doesn't like it. Even half of it. But at least I'm surprised. I have two versions of the Spider-Verse that end up in the in Disney toy box figures, ironically speaking. Like it's almost make Disney's making good deals out of Sony. It came with this mallet more than she, it came with her real face. Anyway, let's see. Then later, this month, I finally got... Oh, wait, no. Then later, I... Then later, I got Sorcerer Mickey. I didn't get the original. I mean, I did, but... But that, I'll tell you that later. I found him two days after Christmas because I thought my aunt finally got him. But she wasn't specifically... But I didn't specifically instruct her to find him like that i gave her pictures but she still didn't find it so i got it myself at first i thought i'd find it at at um west covina but instead i found him at montebello just like i found 3po on that sith trooper which i for i think i forgot to say it earlier because i can't remember anymore but like i said i found sorcerer mickey at montebello which was easier. Then later I made him the true leader of the Disney Knights. Then later after after Christmas and New Year's. I found Simba. The Lion King. And he comes with his Dodo Chow or whatever you call it. I, I'm just going to prefer advisor because I can't pronounce the D word. That Hornbill Zazu. At least he comes with it. It's like he's going to instruct him more. And at least for the record, Simba doesn't look like his cub self like you see in social medias where dames and kids adore his younger appearance while men like me are only attracted to adult likes. But at least he doesn't look like a cub anymore. Not this time. And then later after that, I found... Goofy, Pluto, Minnie, and Donald. And I I had the original Mickey, but I got rid of it because, like I said, I only want the original one. So I ditched it. Like, 
I also ditched Stitch for the Rocket. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention it. I got the Rocket the same day as I got Simba. I can't remember all these things. Anyway, I got them just in case. Goofy looks kind of... How do I explain this? Looks originally traditional. And Donald, at least he's not angry. He's got the sailor suit on and that mean Popeye expression. And Minnie is all dot to me. If you don't want me. And I failed to see why they need them as pets. Because in real life, dogs and cats are natural predators to mice. Spoiler alert. But yet, despite Pluto, I thought Figaro was supposed to be Pinocchio's cat. I understand why maybe they made a few errors. But it's their loss. But like I said, I got, I got rid of Mickey Mouse for just Minnie, Donald, and Goofy. And last, for the Disney store... I got General Grievous. I got so excited for him because I'm a big fan of Grievous. I got him at, at West Covina Mall. He looks twice as dangerous, but a few errors is he doesn't have multiple fingers, just four of them. And at least his arms are very attachable, like they come off. Also... His his cape is one other error. It's not even black but red. He's the same one. He looks like the same one from the Infinity Game. Even though he didn't come as a playable character. At least he's finally made as a figure. But not as you know what I mean. I only like Grievous because I too suffer in asthma. Because every season, allergy season I get I cough and wheeze with asthma. And I need to use my inhaler to breathe it in. That makes him Vader's competable rival. Even though I wish they would fight each other in this movie if Obi-Wan was in his way. Okay, next we got is the Disney shop where I buy things on the internet. Or someone else gets it for me. Whether it'll... Oh, I almost forgot. This broomstick comes with Sorcerer Mickey like it does in Fantasia. Where he possesses them but loses power out of it. Anyway, Maui was my first toy box figure I found in on the internet after I failed to find it in, in the Disney parks or stores. And his fish hook is hard to click back in. At least, unlike in my other Maui I have, only it's not a toy box, it, it did cover himself. And his tattoos are not much detailed a lot, but it's perfectly fine to detail. And he comes with his necklace for once. And it's going to be harder to click it back in. Let's see. Okay, let me see and remember who else I have encountered previously. Also... I found Van. I mean, I found Jack Skelling. I got Jack on Christmas, which is a reference how I would he would desire it. And at least it comes with Zero, his ghost-like Rudolph, and he has the jack o' lantern. And I wish I could have been more patient to wait until last year, because last year they remodelized Zero into a much more glowing version. But I decided to get it now. And I couldn't wait so long. And later, I finally got him by Christmas. Anyway, I wish he came with Oogie instead of reduplicating him. I guess Disney's hard to, to think for others than just themselves. Anyway, after that, I finally... Last year, before, after the cruise or after my flight on January at... At Mexico, I finally got Venom on my birthday. This guy almost looked much like his 2007 or or 18 one because he's muscular. He's got those toes and they focus on his face perfectly. And his and his spider logo, it has a V shape 
triangle. Just like in Spider-Man 3. Except he doesn't have webs crawling over, but you know. But his back, however, is scratched because someone was messing with it too large. And he came with his symbiote tentacle, just like in the movie, where he punches one of Carlton Drake's henchmen. But like I said, I got it last year. Yeah, I have to apologize because my mom interrupted me twice because she's always, you know. And also his face, where he opens his mouth in both versions, his eyebrows make him look like Topher Grace or Tom Hardy, whatever. It's already tensiles are connected. But whatever the reason, it's he can either look like in both versions and... Furthermore, he's cool. Okay, now my next one is, let me see, is, um, oh wait, before Venom, I found Thanos on 2019 when the Endgame came out. I forgot about him because it's hard to track each figures without a date because I I can't allow myself to signature dates because I want it to be signature. Anyway, he almost looked like his end game self where he doesn't strip off to look like Gantu. And he did came with his other gauntlet where it's just a pal. Like he used both the reality or power stone or or soul stone altogether. I cannot remove his helmet because it's permanent. And he doesn't come with his blade unlike his previous one. All right, now let's see before I lose my concentrations. Okay, um, all right. All right, anyway, later, af- after we were locked out during COVID-19, I got Captain Hook with my sister. It's hard to get his hat attached to it because it keeps falling off. And I'm unable to decide whether I should glue it or just... Pray it will stay stuck to it. At least Hook looks good and his eye needs to be painted. Even though I don't have much Disney villains to collect because I only got three. But hopefully, let me uh, finish talking before that. Then later on the same day, I also got Randall Boggs, who's half invisible and half in skinned, who comes with Mike Wazowski. His, that one eye creep. <laughs> That's what he insults. I don't, even though previously they used to be friends like in Monsters University before they keep teasing each other to death. Even though I, I like the part where he scared him because I realized why he likes to prank him because he started it, not him. Okay, let's see. Then later, I finally got Peter Pan. Because I can't play with Hook without Peter. And his blade's unable... And his blade... It's unable to be attached to his pocket. So I either... But at least it's stuck on his hand. But I'm unable to decide whether he should hold on to it more often. Because I was afraid that one day I'll lose it because it's too small. Because I thought it would be a bit more larger. At least like Bucky's blade... Now let's see him. Then later, I found Hector Rivera's. I got him last year, like say September. And he came with his guitar and his hat is also unable to click back in. At least unlike in the movie, his bones don't spread apart, but only attach to it. At least his face looks enhancedly detailed and half filthed for much. He looks exactly like Aladdin. They're both broke and both have lack of shoes and have different parts of their pants are ripped. And they have belts. And he, like I said, he came with a guitar. And on the same day, it also came with Django Fett, the bounty hunter. And also... 
Boba's dad. The reason why I got Boba is because I realized I need Django. The reason why I got Django because I need Boba too. That way they are never alone. Even though in the movie he got his head sliced off until it's reattached it. He's the clone maker of Kamino. But also, I made a few hours of myself. I decided to get to get um, Peter Quill, the Star Lord guy, along with Luke Skywalker. So I told my sister to get him on eBay. So she did. Even though I don't like telling her this, because she gets upset when she feels like I'm enslaving her. Then later after that, let's see. After I got Luke and Star-Lord on Christmas Eve, while my family are doing some kind of gift dropping off like how Santa Claus does it, I finally got Emperor Zerg. He's my favorite bad guy, because I always wanted him and Buzz to fight each other for the first time. Unlike in the game where he's not a playable character, as I thought. And he comes with his Eon Blaster, and he's almost familiar like the one in the TV show. Both don't have a pipe connected to this contractor. But at least. And he comes with his playset along with his Hornet, Zergbot, or Bongo, whatever you wish to call it. And it's kind of cool because in the deleted scene, he looks like Grievous before he does impressions with Vader. At least it's familiar like the one in in the in second movie. It came with his his um his opening and clothing closing trap along with the spikes and that floor and the battery set I'm unable to open again. And it rotates. And also I'm unable to get this cannon attached to Zerg's hand. Then later a few days later, I finally got Mandalorian from my Aunt Nora. Or should I say, Din Djarin is the name. He didn't come with his jetpack or his spear where he fights Mo- Moff Gideon because they're unaware. And it came with Baby Yoda, or should I say, Grogu. They're the only ones from Disney Plus that get to be in toy box figures. And I was surprised to see that. After that, I grew attached for him. And even though he never met Django Fett, only Boba, but I still make him meet each other. And Grogu, I still think he might be Yoda's son or grandson or just cousin. No doubt. And last but not least, oh wait, before that, he did came, Zark did came with his z bot. It doesn't rotate or move his body parts like the others because he's not a, he's much, he's more like a target destroying piece of toy or however you explain it. Although previously it did, it was made to fall apart, but I glued it so he can be a useful toy instead. That way it doesn't fall apart again, even though that's what this gun was made for. Also, hopefully, I get new toy box villains, because three isn't enough. I hope I get Jafar, Yokai, Dr. Felicier, Syndrome, and um, Maleficent, and Ursula, and Gantu, and and um, Damatoa. And that's all I can think of, because I'm kind of out of shape. Alright, my last one is... That's Imperial Stormtrooper from the original. I'm not a big fan with these Stormtroopers, but I only got them just in case. I might get a Clone Trooper one day, which can either be Commander Cody or Captain Rex. Whoever, or just a regular Clone Trooper pawn where it's not in color. Or just in case, I might get a Battle Droid because I grew up with the prequel trilogy before getting to know the classic ones. Because it's supposed to be a true education. For any sporting reasons. 
Well, I think that's everything. All the Disney characters, Marvel, and Star Wars, even though I don't have much. Because I wish I should have got Chewbacca because I could have made Grievous face him more often. But I wasn't ready for Star Wars. Because my only primary goal is collecting Disney characters. And I hope my next Disney ones I find would be... Well, let's just say for for my primary ones, I'd rather get Hercules, Beast, Darkwing, Duck, and uh, Flick on my list. And um, who else? It's going to be hard. I can't remember anyone because it's hard to ignore. Prince Philip, Grumpy, and maybe Goliath or Nick Wilde. Actually, Robin Hood would be a perfect user and, along with Merlin. And as for hostages, I would use for my video in case I want to make scenes where he kidnaps them. I want to get Nemo and Dory because they're cute. Along with Naveen and Tiana. Only as frogs, not as l living people. Cause, and in case if I change my ways, I'll get the rest of Big Hero 6. Along with Honey, Lemon, Go-Go, Fredzilla, and Wasabi. That way their team will be complete. But for now it's just Hero and Baymax. Well, that's everything. And also for Marvel, my... Next goal is I want Green Goblin Doc Ock. So that way they're finally based on the Sam Raimi verse. And that's all I got to say. Excelsior.